stormwater pollution occurs when rainwater or snowmelt runs over impervious surfaces, picks up pollution like salt, pet waste, automotive fluids, or fertilizers, and flows into storm drains that dump into water bodies. Green infrastructure projects like rain gardens, bioswales, and rain barrels can be efficiently and inexpensively implemented to protect water quality and quantity, essential aspects of public health, a vibrant local economy, and a flourishing ecosystem. Here's a look at how the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District uses these green infrastructure projects to prevent stormwater pollution. Rain gardens are landscape depressions that capture and absorb stormwater from impermeable surfaces. Water is diverted from the district roof through an underground pipe into the rain garden. The rain garden infiltrates stormwater and plants and soil remove pollutants. Compared to a lawn, rain gardens can absorb 30% more water because they slow water velocity and allow for greater infiltration rates. Plants and soil trap sediment and filter out stormwater pollutants. By decreasing stormwater runoff, stream bank and shoreline erosion are reduced, aquatic communities maintain their health, and groundwater is recharged. Bioswales are installed in new or existing drainage courses in an effort to reduce stormwater velocity and remove sediment, pollutants, and debris before the water is discharged into a surface water. This is one illustration of where landowners or municipalities could install a bioswale. Could you give some other types of situations where bioswales would work well? This was a natural ditch that you guys had here anyway. It did have some water flow in it, some runoff from the driveway. And so what we did here is put some plants to help absorb that water, maybe some of the nutrients coming off the driveway, some of the pollutants. In other examples, there could be a natural ditch on a homeowner's property or they could make one if they see an area where maybe a lot of water pools. And then if you put plants in it, then not only do you end up with beautiful plants in a garden, but it'll help soak up some of that water. When you're thinking about a municipality, they're really talking about the ditches along their roadsides. The reason the ditches are there is to convey water. It's a public safety concern. You get the water off the road into the ditch. So what a municipality could do is maybe put some check dams in. That'll slow down the water. It'll make some of the sediment come out. But also, if they put some plants in it, it'll help absorb the water, maybe any nutrients that are coming from wildlife in the area. Um, and it can just help reduce water quantity for the municipality to deal with in their ditches, but also improve water quality. The water harvested in this rain barrel is used to maintain our pollinator garden, and it's a super simple process. All we do is plug in the external pump system, turn the spigot on, and walk the hose over to maintain the garden. A gutter system directs water from the roof into the rain barrel. Without a gutter and collection system, roof water can be concentrated along the building and cause erosion and pollution runoff. The pollinator garden is home to specific native flowers that attract butterflies, birds, and bees. These pollinators make it possible for crops to grow and plants and flowers to flourish. During the summer, garden and lawn watering account for 40% of total household water usage, and a rain barrel can save a homeowner approximately 1,300 gallons. Instead of turning on the hose, water stored in the rain barrel is used, demonstrating an efficient conservation practice. In addition, rainwater does not contain salts, fluorides, and other additives found in tap water, giving garden plants and soil a healthy drink. This rain barrel harvests and stores water from the district roof and reuses it to water the vegetable garden. A gutter system directs water from the roof into the rain barrel. The spigot is turned on and water is gravity fed from the rain barrel to the soaker hose. What you guys have done here is taken a soaker hose, which is essentially a ho hose with holes throughout it that will release water as it comes through it. And so you have your water collected uphill a little bit. It's gravity fed down to the garden and the water comes through the garden, through the hose, which is all intertwined within the garden. And um, 
it waters the garden with the water that's collected from the roof. It's best to use that water at the ground level and not spray it over the plants. And that's because you think of what's on your roof, bird poop, squirrel poop, there could be things up there that you wouldn't necessarily want um, in water that's sprayed over the food that you eat. During a one inch rainstorm, a 10 by 10 foot area of roof produces approximately 57 gallons of water. Instead of running over impermeable surfaces and contributing to aquatic pollution, this water is harvested, stored, and reused. Only native Adirondack plants were used in these green infrastructure demonstration projects. We did not plant any invasives in the pollinator garden, in the bioswale, or in the rain garden. And we did that for a number of reasons. Invasive plants may look beautiful. Purple loosestrife and yellow flag are gorgeous. They have beautiful blooms, but they reproduce rapidly to cause economic, ecologic, and societal harm. Because they're reproducing rapidly, our native plants are displaced and our herbivores lose a food source. Green infrastructure projects like rain gardens, bioswales, and rain barrels are easy and inexpensive to install. These simple methods prevent stormwater pollution and keep our rivers and lakes healthy. For more information, contact the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. Yeah. <laughs> You're not serious, are you? <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> the green infrastructure. Mm. The green. And. Uh, let me start over. <laughs> Go ahead. Should I really run? No. You're not throwing any hog meat in there, are you? Let me think of what I want to say. <laughs> and it's super simple. All you have to do is plug in our external pump system. <laughs> it's a super simple process. Because they make uh, they make a half and half cookie there. 